Many examples of online teaching include recording a lecture and reading through PowerPoint slides. This might work for some courses, but what about lessons that require a demonstration or lab? In this experiment, we will explore the science of baking cookies and why these two batches come out differently just by changing one single ingredient. Think about what worked well in your classroom before transitioning to teaching online. This might include a lesson with a demonstration where you had students guess an outcome, building curiosity to see whether their guess was correct or not, then revealing the answer. Today, I'm going to show you how to transform your home and bring your demos and labs online. A common question when getting started is, what type of equipment do I need? The minimum you need is a camera that records video and a way to record your voice. You don't need a bunch of fancy equipment. It could be as simple as a smartphone that records video and audio to a nice camera and an external microphone like this one. A stand of some type can be helpful for getting a better camera angle, but isn't necessary. In a pinch, you could use a stack of books. A document camera is another option that can be used if you have one or are looking for tools to purchase. Find a location where noise is minimal, but remember that it's okay if it's not perfect. Your students might enjoy a little meow, bark, or other real life sound as long as it doesn't distract them from the lesson for too long. Next, prepare the items you will need to record your lesson. Write down a list of talking points or steps that you will need to record in the video. For each step, think about the supplies you will need. I like to create a document with a table that contains two columns, one listing the actions and the other listing the items needed to complete that action. Without a list, it is easy to forget a step. Similar to baking without a recipe, you might forget the baking powder and your cookies won't rise. Before you do a full recording, try a test run of a couple steps to check microphone levels, background noise, camera angles, and make sure that that basket of dirty laundry isn't visible. When you're satisfied and it all looks and sounds like you want it to, hit record and capture your full lesson. Don't forget to get a few shots of your process. For example, I angled my camera on a tripod to record these cookie shots so students could follow along visually. Don't worry if you make a mistake. You can edit out bigger mistakes, but leaving in minor ones can make it feel more like the real classroom experience. Now that you have your recording, I'm going to cover how to remove a mistake and add interactivity in a video editor. Import your video into the video editor. Today I'll be using Camtasia. Drag the playhead to the point in the video where the mistake begins. Highlight the section you want to remove by clicking on the red handle on the playhead and drag it to the point where the mistake ends. Then click the cut button to remove the section. To make your video interactive, add a quiz question. Here I'll include feedback that it was the difference in melting point between the butter and shortening that caused the difference in our cookies. To learn more about interactivity in Camtasia, check out our add quiz questions to a video tutorial using the link below. Have fun creating and check out our other tutorials.